I went to school just to please my dad Developed some anger as aftermath I fell off the course while you wait for a Porsche I'm coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money, my nose always running Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be covering Filthy Rich Horses So jumping right into it We're going to look at their artwork The artwork, to me uh, I like it I don't love it uh, Nothing against it It's unique, that's for sure Um I don't know what it is. It's just something about these faces. They just like, I, I don't know. They make me feel a little weird. It's like when you're a kid and you're watching Courage the Cowardly Dog and you love Courage the Cowardly Dog, but you're also kind of scared of him. It's kind of like that a little bit. But moving on over, we're going to check out their facts page. I'm going to go to the top. So they're going to do a snapshot period for the founders. That's going to be, is that today? That was yesterday. Okay, so Wednesday, that's today. Uh, that's when the pre-sale begins. So they have their whitelist sale and it's continuing up until tomorrow. And then tomorrow is also when the public sale mints. So we can look here. There is a whitelist that's happening right now. I'm a bit late, but don't hate me because you know, you may or may not be missing anything. There's still plenty of these things. There's only 4,000, I think 800. Yeah, 4,800 in the discord and 10,000 of these rich horses. So I do think there's plenty to get up during the public sale. Uh, there's going to be 250 to 300 traits. So there's plenty of horses that will be one of ones. Or they're all one of one rather. Like none of the exact same. Ada, 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 Ada is the freaking mint price. Okay. I think that's a bit steep. I really do. But we'll continue to look throughout the, uh, the project and see if it's worth it. So let's see here we continue to go down there's going to be 7.5 percent royalties for all of the horses and this is going to go towards project development marketing salaries and marketplace maintenance so it doesn't look like holders get a benefit of these royalties all right so jumping over to their roadmap let's see what they got planned so they have their hay token they revealed their art they have the founders collection already and then yeah they revealed more of oh the artists reveal okay now they're going to be working on creating their smart contract marketplace so they will have their own marketplace maybe this is going to be something similar to mutant crocs we'll have to see filthy rich horses collection this is the 10k releasing uh the giveaways so they will give away thirty thousand us dollars in ada to the holders 20 lucky holders will receive one filthy rich horse and 500 usd it's pretty cool giving back together will give away 15,000 usd and ada to a charity founder exclusive merchandise limited merchandise sales surprise milestone we will announce the second significant utility added to the project so maybe this is where you'll start to see how people are going to start making their money i'm not sure art giveaway promotional campaigns so it looks like they're going to promote across the world and then their white paper, which could really be what makes or breaks this because so far, I don't see anything that screams out like, hey, you're going to make money off of this. So I don't know why you'd pay 88 for this. Um, not whitelist. Let's go into utility and see. With their marketplace, they're going to allow you to buy horses using their hay token as well as buying with ADA. They also say that there's no marketplace fees except for the royalties. So I don't know how they're going to add any value if they're not making any money off of their marketplace. That's really interesting. Obviously, I think a marketplace without any uh, fees is amazing. You know, that's like as fair as you can get, kind of like Robinhood style. But I just don't know how you're making your money because even Robinhood style does some things in the background that some people aren't too happy about to make money. So I don't know. Um, hey token. So let's see here. Can be utilized to earn enough. Okay. Uh, staking rewards will be airdrop to users okay so for the staking rewards you stake your ADA and you get passive ADA but you also get passive hay if you own a horse in the wallet that you're staking from so you'll be getting your hay and you'll be getting ADA back and because you can buy these horses with hay and then convert it by selling your horse for ADA you can also sell your hay for ADA which I think is down here the hay swap so you can kind of you're making double your money regardless even if you don't have enough to buy a horse because you could sell your hay for some ada so that's pretty cool the hay liquidity pool 
they say is going to be available on Sunday Swap, so that's pretty cool. Get your passive income there, and then Hey Usage will be able to purchase the horses like I talked about using smart contracts, which is pretty cool. Um, because I didn't know that you could do that with other currencies. I guess I guess it's not that hard, but I never thought about that. Um, in the future, you can also use Hey to purchase merchandise stuff, so that's also pretty cool. The way that the hay distribution is, there's going to be a total of 10 million hay, and that's going to be it. 35% goes to the stake pool, 20% to the public, uh, holder airdropped, project owners, team, and partners. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure this is everything on the horses for now that we have to go off of. So you have your hay, you have your marketplace, but it's 88 to buy. And then you gotta wait until you see the other utilities come out after the mint. Um, you know, personally, I think this is really interesting. I've never seen anybody do this with their token yet, so I think that's really interesting. The free marketplace is something I'm extremely interested in, but I'm still not too sure about this project's uh, mint price. I think 80 is a bit steep for something that uh, I I'm just not too sure about. So, me personally, I'm gonna be on the sidelines, just kind of waiting to see this out, but. You know, this is somebody doing something new, and a lot of the times the community really likes the first mover in a new space. Last thing I wanna say on it before I move away is I do think that the value of these is gonna be largely based on the value of their hay token. So if they can find a way to add a lot of value to their hay token, then people will want to stake with them and people will want to own as many horses so that they can get their passive hay and people will be using their hay to buy more horses to get more passive hay and etc like it's kind of going to grow like that so if they can really add a lot of value with this hay then you know maybe this does turn out to be something crazy all right the rest of the video i'm just going to be covering what happened in the last 24 hours and keeping everybody up to date so yesterday justin williams uh from the bitboy crew tweeted out about heartbreak club so there are these little dudes right here they looking like blobs and hearts on them kind of look like butts but you know it's all good um i bought two of them right i, I sent 70 ada they were 35 ada a piece i thought i would get two but then i read and it was like if you send any other amount other than 35 or the amount for five or the amount for 10 then you'll get a refund so i was like oh crap i'm gonna get a refund let me go buy two the legit way by sending 35 twice so for whatever reason it sent me two even when i sent 70. so now i have four i sold one today for 75 to deleverage a little bit because i didn't mean to buy that many so now i'm holding three sold one for 75 not too bad it's like 60 something after the royalties but you know their discord's kind of lacking we can go in and, and look at it you know here's the fact for them it doesn't really say a whole lot you get a hoodie if you buy five uh, or a hoodie if you get 10 a t-shirt if you get five but they're already sold out so you can't even get that anymore but uh, you know, there's nothing in here like roadmap and their announcements. It's all just kind of empty. Like, dude, I don't know what this project is or why Justin's bullish on it, but here it is. You guys can see it. It's doing decently well. It's doubled after mint price. We'll move on over You can see Pavia's not doing bad. It's not doing great. Let's actually check the floor of Pavia after all of the, you know, Cardano buzz news came out yesterday about him leaving the project. Um, it was 450 yesterday when I was checking, so it does look like it dropped about 50 within the last 8 to 12 hours. Not horrible, not great, obviously, but I think it's going to be fine. Disco Solaris on the number 3 spot, really? How much are these going for? 129, not bad, not bad. They were higher, you know, they were definitely at like 150 a few days ago, but that's okay. They're still being bought like crazy. Space Buds. You know, down from all-time highs, but still crushing it. Cardano Village. This is just wrong. There's an error on JPEG somewhere where it's not showing all of the Cardano Village land to be bought. So some people are buying thinking the floor is 130. And some people are buying, like, you know, these small ones for, like, 35 and 40 because they have the direct link. And they're, you know, they're getting a way better deal. But, uh, you know, there's plenty of people willing to spend way more than that. So, you know, if, if we go up and we actually look... You'll see. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know why JPEG has these issues. Come on. So, oh, that's the exchange ticket. Oh man, I feel so bad for those people because if you didn't exchange your thing, look, it's not valid anymore. They're worthless. 
Oh. So that's why it says 35. Okay. Yeah, guys, don't buy these. They're literally useless. Um, that's why the floor says 35 now. But still, yesterday there was an issue where these weren't showing properly. And uh, there were some selling for like 60 to 70. But as you can see, the floor now says 165. So maybe it's fixed. Who knows? Um, let's check out what they're... Okay, so the cheapest of this is 287. So 287 plus 165. You know, let me not do math and make a fool of myself. 165 plus 287. 452. The price of these alone before the assets came out, before the land assets came out, were 400. And then they fell. And everybody's like, oh, I should have sold. But as you can see, you shouldn't have sold because now you can sell this for around 290 and you can sell this for around 270. So, you know, doing pretty good with Cardano Village. Nice, nice, nice. What else we got? Rats Dow, how they holding up? Says 310, but who really knows? You guys getting ready for that rat token? That's going to be on Friday. That's when the snapshot is. So be ready. 318, not bad. Is it a thin floor? Kinda. 325 is a larger floor than 320. Interesting. Let's look at the others. Unbounded Earth. Oh. Ooh. Okay. 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 How you doing? 85 floor. Is that for real? 82? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I got one trying to sell right now for 90 because I bought five of them. And I just want to deleverage a little bit. You know, I buy these to, to flip and then, you know, I try to make it free so I can hold forever. That's just my style. So that's cool. If one sells for 90, I'll be very happy about that. The reason why they're going up is because I covered in the other video, they announced their tokenomics and you get some tokens for owning these plots of land. Uh, Ada Ape Society is really chilled off. Benjamin's group is at 280? Yo. Yo, no, no, no. Benjamin's group. No way. No way. No, 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 this isn't true. No, 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 really? Th this can't be true, right? 449? I own one of these. I debated buying another one at around 200, but I got mine for 100. Okay, well. All right, a lot more things moved than I thought. Holy crap. Lucky Planet. 130. Not bad. Cardano Kids. Oh, that's right. All right, so I just skipped to it. Cardano Kids actually got verified on JPEG. That's freaking awesome. When you come down, you can see this is the series I own the most of, Series 7. There's a shit ton of these assets, unfortunately. So the mint price, or the, rather, the floor price is really cheap on these. If you go to the other... Uh, series they're much more expensive just take my word for it it'll take too much time to cover but if you're gonna look for some of these especially this series all right you want to get a cheap one or something look for the cheaper or look for the uh, the numbers the serial numbers under like a hundred or two hundred I think those are gonna be what you want to look for so like 196 I would buy this over the 241 right it's only seven eight or more but it's sub 200 rather than sub 300 and uh, I think this is how people are going to value these. I don't know for a fact. I am just speculating. I am guessing. I have no clue. Um, but I personally own all of mine. I own nine of them. And all of mine are sub 70, I believe. Or at least sub 80. I know that. So I think I have really, really good ones. I'm going to be holding for a little while longer. I'll probably be deleveraging a little bit just because that's my style. But uh, anyways, guys, if any of this content helped you, please give me a like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I appreciate you guys. Uh, remember to get outside, see your family, see your friends. We're here to make more money so we can spend more time with them. Until next time, guys. Peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, because I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.